Hey everybody, so here's a quick update on the, um, turn on some light here, on the material clamping jig for the Thunder Laser. Um, just playing around here with the uh, autofocus. And uh, as you can see on here, um, I'm going to have to make a change to the thickness of these by a little bit because it is just, just barely clearing. Um, so I want to probably lower that down another millimeter or so. Um, but I just want to show you kind of uh, what we got here. Um, now you can do several different things. If you have a way of clamping stuff down already and you just need a way to hold the blades, um, these, these points here are the blade holders and they I mean, you can pull up all you want on that. It ain't going to where it doesn't doesn't move back and forth. Nothing. Um, this is a piece of three quarter inch plywood. It was warped. It's warped in the middle here. Um, and the way I do it is I start in the back. I tighten down the back ones, and then usually it kicks up the front end, which it did on this. And then you just push down on these and tighten the thumb screws on these, and it brings everything nice and level. As you can see, there's no no daylight that's kind of hard to see but no do daylight through the blades um, and I could loosen these up and I'll show you what I, what I mean see the daylight da daylight open up there and as I loosen this and see it opens up even more so actually it's not three quarter this is half inch I lied to you sorry um, but anyways you could do up to three quarter inch material with it and it holds pretty well um, the thicker the material the more clamps you're going to need to hold it down because uh, obviously the clamps can only hold so much but uh, with a half inch like I said you push it down you tighten your you know I'm going to show you the process here if I can set the camera up alright so basically you see your material is kind of springy you push down and then you tighten up your thumb screw and what that does is it locks the clamp to the blade which the blade is being held in place by the blade clamps and then do the same thing on this side um, and once these are available they will be tested for clearance checks to make sure that you don't hit anything um, but even still just be careful. Don't try not to run your head over them, anyways, because if you accidentally kick one up a little bit, um, it can it can snag the head and cause damage. So that would be the only uh, the only con to this. So you just got to be aware of what you're doing. Um, but as far as the system goes itself, by the time it reaches the market, um, like I was showing you here, I mean it it misses by about two millimeters so what I'm going to do is I'll probably shorten it about a millimeter that way it gives uh, plenty of clearance um, that way it's less likely to, to have any collisions with the, the head itself now with this stuff in place this is a 24 a Nova 24 so it's small as it is um, these can be used obviously you can see it's being used here to hold hold things flat um, this is just the best example I could find because I don't usually keep a lot of scrap around. But on your larger machines, especially when you're using half sheets, quarter sheets of plywood and things like that, um, they can have severe bows to them. And that's what I use on my my other laser that I originally designed these for um, because it's a, it's a three foot by four foot or four and a half foot bed. So it's plenty of a room and I usually use six blade clamps and then six uh, material clamps because you can also clamp them in the center on the ends um, and whatnot so it just depends on how you want to set it up but anyways this is it in a nutshell if you have any questions feel free to ask and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks